Chandrayantri is a bit of a nail biter at the moment. After a successful two-week mission, the robotic explorers are now sleeping on the frigid south pole of the moon. The catch is they do not have heaters to keep them warm during the lunar night, where temperatures can get to a bone chilling minus 253 degrees Celsius. Normally, moon missions use something called radioisotope heater units to keep spacecraft warm. These heater units work by radiating heat generated from radioactive materials like plutonium or polonium. However, Chandrayantri's lander Vikram and its rover Pragyan skipped this heating system. Now, whether these robotic bodies wake up when the sun shines again is pretty much up to luck. Radioactive heater units have been used since the 1970s in lunar missions to survive the freezing nights. Soviet Union's Luna Code 1 was the first successful lunar rover that covered over 10 kilometers in just 10 months. They powered itself using solar cells mounted on a large lid. During the lunar night, it closed the lid to stay warm using the heater units until the next sunrise. Other moon missions like China's Chang'e 3 and its rover U2 used similar mechanism to stay warm during lunar nights. U2 survived the first night but lost mobility after the second. However, its successor U2-2 has been waking up as expected for the past four years. As for Chandrayantri, it's a bit of mystery why they didn't equip Vikram and Pragya with these heaters. But they did accomplish their science goals in a region known for potentially having frozen water, which is a big deal. The batteries on Pragyan were fully charged before it went to sleep. So, there is a faint hope they might wake up again after the lunar night. If not, they will remain India's lunar ambassadors forever resting on the moon's surface. Thanks for watching.